What's up guys, welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, what I figured would be a pretty awesome video would be, let's kind of go over a company called Tactical Development. So you guys know that I've uh, definitely done a couple of videos with parts used from Tactical Development, but he has some pretty interesting stuff coming in the future, we'll say. It's, it's close, it's on the website, you can go check it out pretty much. So what I'm gonna start with is, if you have a macro, you can get a couple of pretty awesome setups. So what he has is if you have a TLR-8 or a TLR-7 sub, you can put the tactical development gas pedal on there. This is a awesome option to be able to give you a nice area to put your support thumb and it basically just kind of mitigates recoil. Very cool setup. He also even sells holsters that will accommodate this. Uh, QVO Tactical also does the exact same thing. Another thing would be, say you kind of pieced together a macro and you were left with 10 or 12 round magazines. Well, he's got you covered there as well. These are basically just, uh, they don't add any rounds, but they will make it so that it will fit in a macro. And then he has specific ones that will work with magwells. This is the NDZ magwell. I really like this. And then a uh, supporter basically sent out some of these back straps. So um, this is definitely something that I highly recommend. You can go on Etsy and check out the back straps. Uh, there's also a couple other ones, FDES, they make some. So it's, it's a growing thing. I personally like the back straps like this because it pushes your hand up, gives you a lot better just overall grip on the pistol. Another thing would be the triggers. So this is the older version that is non-adjustable, but he does have one that has a a pre-travel screw adjustment so it will actually let the trigger sit about there and that will give you that much pre-travel movement so something to absolutely look into now we're going to jump to a completely different gun it's going to be the staccato so there's nothing that's really on this that's from tactical development but I wanted to kind of go over something before I gave you the preview of what we're actually going to be looking at. So this is my C2. You guys know that a C2 has a smaller grip and what that does is it just makes it a little bit easier to conceal. This is kind of like their uh, staccato's older version of a, a concealed carry setup nothing wrong with it whatsoever what you can do is if you have the tlr7 sub now you can put one of the tactical development gas pedals on it will work so that is something to look at um but what happened is staccato actually they did not get rid of the c2 itself they got rid of the single stacked c and then they came out with this and this is the staccato cs so this is an awesome little setup and i have been busy trying to modify this thing and uh, i think i've come up with a pretty sweet package with my own comps and atlas's thumb safeties and triggers and now tactical developments magwell all right so that is awesome in itself one thing I do want to say, QVO Tactical has a mainspring extension that if you guys are interested in not having a magwell, you can put this on. What it will actually do is it will sit at the end of the uh, actual grip itself and still, still sit flush with the base plate. But if you are interested in having an overall magwell to be able to just, you know, throw those friggin' mags in there, no problem. Tactical Development will be releasing a magwell for this. Now at first I ordered this and I was like, this is probably where it's gonna be because um, my hand never felt crunched up or anything like that on the CS and it, this area didn't bother me. 
but I was like, well, let's see. Maybe after putting a ton more rounds, maybe I overlooked this when I went to the release party for the CS. But uh, then when I found out about this Magwell, I was like, I mean, I am a really big Magwell guy, as you can see. Even my C2 has the SGZ Magwell on there. And I like the way it kind of just holds my hand in place like that. So this was right up my alley. I hit tactical development up, said, hey, can I get my hands on a demo version? Because I was going at it with putting the uh, comp setup in here, the pandemic, the tri-top, direct mounting a Delta Point Pro, carry Atlas thumb safeties, and then the super small Atlas trigger. And then obviously the TLR7 sub. Uh, from there, I wanted to throw on this Magwell and he actually explained something to me. He said, I'm gonna have to send you one of my base plates. So this doesn't add any extra rounds, but it is kind of beveled at the top there. And what that's going to do is give you the ability to actually let this thing sit flush in there. Super nice idea. Uh, I actually got this yesterday and took it a step past that. And this is just something that I would like to let you guys know if you get one of these magwells and let's say their base plates are out of stock because people really jump on these things you can take your oem base plate and modify it so that is how i modified it it just needs that little bit of bevel it's nothing terrible you can see really good on the sides there you just got to kind of knock it down a little bit you can do it with a file and then just, you know, respray it. You don't even have to spray it if you don't want to, but overall you're going to get a very nice look like that. And let's say we pop that one out. This is one of mine that I did. And as you can see, super easy to pop that in. But like I said, that's only a last resort if you cannot actually get the tactical development base plates. It was not hard, took me a couple minutes with the right tools, but uh, it is an option. Otherwise, I mean, this thing is pretty freaking awesome now. The CS is truly coming together as one of my favorite guns. And with this pandemic comp, it is honestly a monster. And I cannot wait to basically just put it up against the C2. And I'm actually gonna bring back an oldie, but a goodie we have the Staccato C, which is also one of my favorite carry guns. And I'm going to actually have a secret gun coming into this little, uh, I guess, Staccato show-off video that I'm going to be doing. It uh, is something that I literally took four years to be able to find one and actually purchase it. And I am so stoked that I got it. Uh, it is under construction at the moment, but when it comes back, I swear to you, that's going to be the most baller shit you've ever seen. So if you guys are interested in the near future, go check out Tactical Development's Magwell and Base Plate. And obviously, like I said before, if you want the gas pedal, you can throw theirs on. Or I did forget to mention the SGZ Slide Stop Gas Pedal. This is super nice because if you have a good enough, um, a strong enough powered magazine spring, it will actually activate this lockback setup and you will have a locking back gas pedal set up on your carry gun. You can modify it a little bit with a couple little file swipes to allow it with the lighter springs. But like I keep saying, if you, go and get stronger springs in your actual uh, mags. It's just gonna work that much better. Like any of them that I have, if I use Atlas mags, it works perfectly fine. So we will do a full breakdown of the CS in all its glory at that point and really break down what we have going on here. I wanna just make sure that maybe there might be one other upgrade that i want to do to this but i mean so far guys let me know down below what you think about this i think it is super nice and the new pandemic cut is absolutely awesome 
We went back to the drawing board. We shrunk this whole thing up. When you compare it to the other guns, you have definitely shortened the overall circumference of the port down and it really does give you a very nice setup. You don't lose any kind of accuracy or anything like that. That is a question, but we back bore it just the same way as some of the other guys do because it really, it's just the proper way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any of this stuff, absolutely go check out their sites. Uh, in the description, you will find a link to my Patreon. I would really appreciate if you guys would join. I'm actually going to start doing some stuff that uh, gives back to the Patreon people. So uh, that's something huge. And obviously, if you want to keep your gun lubricated and clean, go ahead and get Goliath Gun Care. And any ammunition that is ever fired on this channel is by Nautilus Ammunition. You will find discount codes to both of those companies. And uh, you'll find my email down there as well. So feel free to ask me anything. I hope you guys have an awesome night. Remember, stay safe, believe and achieve. We'll check you later.